up staring in the mirror when you're on a hallucinogen? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking terrifying, right? I do not suggest it. And so, it, it, it happened to me like I was tripping balls in front of the mirror, and I was thinking about how, according to quantum physics, infinite parallel realities are constantly being created, and all of a sudden my reflection blows up into a infinity funhouse mirror of millions and millions of me's, and every possible version of myself is rotating through the mirror like... <laughs> Like, uh, first it was like the close to home realities, like, <laughs> gamey. You look fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> Girlmy. Like, damn, I'm hot! Is this how gamey felt? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> and it is kind of like frustrating because, like, with my full red lips, I have long eyelashes, slender physique. I would be so much hotter as a woman, but I'm just stuck in this scrawny boy body. Why, why, chromosome, why? Oh. <laughs> Latino me, and Latino me is so much more suave than American me. Like, hola, señorita, mi nombre es Aaron. Like, my name alone is so much cooler in Spanish. Instead of Aaron, it's Aaron. It's like, it's like a race car speeding off the starting line. Like, Aaron! So cool! <laughs> and, uh, the worst way to pronounce my name is the way my Jewish mom from New York pronounces it. Like, Aaron. And, uh, when she used to scream my name as a kid, it would just like pierce fear into the deepest region. Like, it's like a fucking hawk descending for the kill, you know? It's terrifying. And so, uh, back in the mirror, I catch a glimpse of myself if my parents did not move from New York to New Mexico. And I was like a wannabe Jewish New York bar mitzvah comic, like, so I gave my kids matzo ball soup, and they're like, Dad, isn't there another part of the matzo we can eat? Then <laughs> 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 the mirror started getting super fucking weird, okay? <laughs> Post apocalyptic me with my daughters on my shoulders, like, we are. Raven people me. <laughs> Octopus people me. <laughs> Mushroom me, who just ate humans to hallucinate. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a surprise to see me. I have to see him. <laughs> okay, okay, magic mirror, magic mirror. That is weird enough. If I have access to every parallel reality, I want to see, like, my best reality. Like, I want to see the reality where I'm the top-grossing stand-up comic in the world, like, like a white boy version of Kevin Hart. <laughs> wow, that reality looked amazing. And I gazed in wonder at every detail. And I could have just, like, taken inspiration from it and moved on. But it was way easier just to go through the looking glass and kill and replace myself in that reality. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as deeply traumatizing as it was to murder a more awesome version of myself, <laughs> would have been totally worth it. But the shit hit the fan. See, the problem is that there's infinite parallel realities. So there were a ton of other errands who were also tripping in front of the mirror and had the same idea. So I don't even think I stole that reality from its original errand. Because like, as soon as I murdered myself, a whole horde of errands descend on the reality trying to kill me and each other. Fucking terrified. But I quickly ruined that reality for all of us. I hate myself. Oh. And, uh, that, that this whole experience will be forever known as the Great Me War. 
and I'm just happy to be alive. So I retreated back to this mediocre but peaceful reality, you know, where you know instead of instead of performing for a whole stadium, I just have this nice little open mic that none of my other me's are willing to murder me for. So thank you, Wayward Comedy. Yeah. Excuse me from myself. Yeah.